Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about copy-paste coding. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, does working as a software engineer in the same team for too long start to f does it start to feel like copy-pasting most of what you do over and over? <laughs> yes. Well, it depends on the team, uh, because re reality is that you have various problems and domains within IT, and you also have different types of stakeholders and you have different types of skill levels within your teams. And all these factors dictate how standardized a process can become. Now, I've been in everything from you know, you basically didn't know what you were going to do the next day up to the point where the process was so standard so standardized that it was boring to work in the team because it was so effective it was very useful for the for the company that because that is the ideal case and it is the, if, in case you haven't really thought about that all that much that is the ideal end state for every software company to get a process that is so perfectly streamlined that it basically is like nothing it's a completely solved problem and that is why I argue to people that these low code no code solutions they will never get you to that point uh, ever they will never get to that point because they are focusing on something different from what the company uh, a specific company usually needs but that is the ideal if you can reach that point uh, because then you're like the cost of development is basically nothing the bug level is nothing and yeah it's not that fun for software developers and hopefully that's gonna lead you to a personal insight that is nice to have as a software developer your job is completely based on that things are not working and the enjoyment most software developers get is from solving problems because when you've solved the problem it's no fun anymore and I've been in situations where that this is the situa situation basically uh, and then you go and find the next problem to solve so this can happen but the reality is that it very much depends on your perspective on what you mean by copy pasting or like you know just doing the same thing over and over because if if your idea is that you're going to do widely different things in each team or you know from day to day then the only sustainable way for you to do that is basically to become a consultant and jump from different companies because each team usually has a domain of things that they are responsible for it's usually the case that you've worked on similar sorts of tasks within that team once again depending on if you're a consultant doing like demos or like proof of concepts or like stuff like that if you're doing that it's like vastly different usually from time to time from from product to project but for product companies with more long spanning products it's usually the same sort of story over and over in different ways right so that's why I believe truly believe that there is because there's a number that is very interesting and so the materialists like to think that this number is due to money and the number is basically that each software developer statistically will move from a company between in between two to four years the average time a software developer stays put is two to four years and that is some people you know that's I'm not gonna deny that that is of course a scenario where you do that because the market is so cold like it's great for the software developer these days if you have the skills you can move around and maximize salaries and so forth but the thing that I find is interesting is that the salary ranges for software developers are not like ludicrously high it's not like the range really really differs and so what I believe is the reason for this this uh, sh uh, frequent change and that statistic being what it is is because people get bored that is what I believe. I believe that uh, software developers, like, the re like uh, f because at the end of the day, there are many ways to make money. There's uh, many ways to make a living, and software development is, in my opinion, way too difficult for you to just say that yeah, you're just doing it for the money. Some people are absolutely doing it, but on average, it's uh, 
it's not as something that you, it, it requires you to be a certain type of person to be able to sustain a, a long career in software development. And I think that, that uh, one of the key things that you need is that you actually want you actually enjoy solving problems. You enjoy working on stimulating things and trying out new stuff and like kind of trying to figure out how things work and so forth to a certain degree. Everybody's different, of course. And that's why I believe that moving from team to team or company to company is such a frequent thing within IT. That's at least what I've seen, because the main reason people usually give as to why they're moving from a company or something like that is because they got bored. You think it's money, but the main reason is almost always the same thing. I didn't feel that this was enjoyable or something like that. They want to try something different. And I think that that is nice. Uh, and it's actually fairly deeply embedded into software development. There's There are m other areas of industry, of course, that are more focused on the like the passion and the idealism of the thing that you're doing than software development. But it's nice that even in IT, you can find an area where, which is software development, where the main driver for what, why people are moving around and doing different stuff is more that they want to experiment and try things out then you know I'm just here to maximize my salary but to pull it back to what you're asking about uh, yes if you stay too long in the same uh, team you're going to see a fairly you know it's going to be fairly repetitive depending on the team uh, if you have really shitty stakeholders or really shitty or like a low skilled software developers you will spend most your t most of your time being frustrated trying to just fix problems that you usually cause yourself or just dealing with people and yeah it's not great to be frank with you and there's a range between that all the way up to you basically do nothing with your time you have nothing to do because everything is sort of just you know the the problem space that you're dealing with is so simple or so small that you don't actually have to be involved all that much. I've been in projects, guys, where you think that having not, you know, being paid to do nothing is a fun thing, and yeah, sure, for the first few weeks, but after a while, you know, you only there's only so many hours that you can spend on YouTube or doing something else before you start hating going to work, and. I promise you, at least that, that's what I believe, I promise you, most people are actually not happy doing nothing and getting paid to do so. I mean, passive income is great if you're getting paid to basically just for nothing and then you can do and go and do something else, then sure, go and if you can fix that, absolutely. But getting paid to literally just sit on your ass and doing nothing is not that fun. Especially, I've found that to be uh, actually there's very few software developers who would like to be in that sort of space and you can get to that point where you become a victim of your own success if that makes sense and that's why I tell people try your best to keep up with the times make sure that you understand what it means to transition from one role to another because the is being in a prepared state like that it makes it very easy for you to move and to mix it up when you feel like it and I promise you just being able and confident that you can do that thing at any moment is a bigger gift that you this is the biggest gift that you can give yourself professionally and I would say even more than that so what I want you to take away from this is that yes it becomes really tedious and boring and copy paste quote quote unquote like uh, to be in the same team for too long and you usually get there very quickly uh, depending on if you're on the extreme it can take a little while depending on team composition and all these different factors if you're in a really shitty team you will find that most of what you do is just being frustrated and annoyed and fixing bugs and issues and dealing with really bad shitty code and that's like all you do all the time because you simply lack either the stability in from the company spot like you don't have a buy-in from the company or you have low skill developers or low skill stakeholders like the the problem isn't that because at the end of the day guys uh, the really good software developers and the really good companies they can standardize stuff to the point where the other thing happen in really bad companies you just are you're basically upset all the time because you're so bad at this thing as a 
as a whole unit, you're bad at software development to the point where you as the individual software developer have to deal with it. But on the other hand, if you're so good at this thing or the problem is so simple, that it's actually fairly straightforward to standardize it. And that can be because, as I said, the problem is simple or it's a very complicated problem. It's just that you have amazing software developers who really know what they're doing. Then you can actually build a solution that is so streamlined that, yeah, it's still boring because it's a solved problem. And I've been in that scenario as well. I've been in situations where we had a really tough problem, but we figured it out so well that you didn't really need us anymore. And I argue that for a happy software developer, you need to be able to switch around a little bit because it's sort of like playing one of those Sims games or like, you know, simulating, like building uh, things, right? If, if you create a city that is so well working that the game doesn't even, it's running by itself, you don't even have to fix anything or like move things around. Then why are you there? Why are you there? You're like this passive observer, and sure, it's fun for a little while to feel that satisfaction that wow, I've really made this like a really well working clock. And then after a while, it's kind of like, yep, yeah, this is really boring. And when you feel when you feel that way, that's when you should be in that position where you can just go, yeah, let's go and build something else. Have a great day.